It's been over a year since my last Gunforged devlog. Oops. In that devlog, I described how the game was having some development issues, but after several months of work, I'm happy to announce that Gunforged has officially been rescued from its development hell. I've solved a ton of the problems that were plaguing the game, and I see a clear path now to releasing the game into the wild. I've never had more fun working on and playing Gunforged. You might even say that Gunforged is in development heaven. There are so many cool things that I have to show you, from the reworked gun upgrade system, to permanent progression, to new enemy types like the mighty lowrider spider. If you're new to this devlog series, allow me to introduce Gunforged before we get into all the cool new stuff. Gunforged is a goofy fantasy roguelite shooter where you create broken builds every run. You forge your guns with randomized gun parts, collect passive abilities, and embed gun-changing runes into your guns to create the ultimate build. Gunforged takes inspiration from games like Brotato and Vampire Survivors, but adds its own twist on the genre through the forging of guns and acquisition of unique passive abilities. If Gunforged sounds fun to you, please check the description below to visit the Steam page and wishlist it. And also, the demo has been updated to contain all of the major changes outlined in this devlog. So give the demo a try and leave your feedback as a comment on this video. All right, so first up on the list of massive changes is a rework to the gun forging system. Again, Previously, gun parts could randomly contain what I called affixes, which are things like poison, shock, increased fire rate, etc. These affixes function as modifiers that are intended to make your gun become really overpowered. Unfortunately, this system was far too random and didn't expose enough control to the player, and many players were unsatisfied with this system as a result. I've removed the random affix system and introduced runes. Runes now contain the powers of the previously mentioned affixes, but can be freely collected and swapped in and out of your guns based on the number of rune slots available. Now if you encounter a gun with a bleed rune, for example, you can extract the rune from that gun part and slot it into a gun of your choosing. This makes forging your guns so much more impactful, more resilient to the downsides of randomness, and just plainly a lot more fun. Now you have full control over how your guns behave. Let me show you how this works in practice. Here I've added a bleed rune, which applies bleed to enemies. This synergizes with the passive Blood Brothers, which spawns blood golems when bleed enemies die. I can add the bullet piercing rune to the gun, and that enables me to apply bleed to multiple enemies. I can then add oil to my other gun to slow enemies. My bullets gain the ability to ricochet off of enemies if I take the rubberized passive. Now I've got bullets that apply bleed and oil, pierce enemies, and bounce off of enemies. This interplay between the passives you collect and the runes you choose to use is the core of what makes Gunforged fun. Runes can now also drop from enemies during the wave, when previously they were only available on gun parts. This gives you another avenue to acquire the runes you're seeking. I think this rune system is just what the game needed to fix some of the problems that were causing Gunforged to be stuck in development hell. When I revisited Gunforged after sitting on it for a few months during 2024, I discovered that I didn't really like the way I had structured the game loop. Previously, the loop was that you'd fight nine waves of enemies in the dungeon, fight a boss on the 10th wave, and get immediately sent into the next arena to fight 10 more waves, and so on until beating the final arena. I decided instead to make each arena an entirely self-contained experience. Now you fight through 20 waves in a single arena, with a unique boss appearing at waves 10 and 20. Upon completing the run, you are rewarded with a victory chest, which you can smash for gold, and then you can do it all again. Beating an arena will unlock the next arena, which will be more difficult and more rewarding. There will be a total of three arenas in the final game, each with their own unique enemies and boss encounters. Since the game loop is now entirely contained within a single arena, I wanted the player to have a central base of operations. I've been really charmed by games like Bone Razor Minions, in which all of the traditional main menu functionality is present as an environment in the game. I decided to do the same for Gunforged, so I deleted the main menu I had previously made and crafted this hub room for the player. Now upon starting the game, you are immediately dropped into this area. From here, you can see your gun part unlocks, rune unlocks, statistics, and begin a run. There is another critical interactable in the hub area I haven't yet mentioned, which is this glowing crystal. Upon interacting with the crystal, you are presented with the new upgrade tree. This permanent progression system requires the gold you extract from runs to unlock each progression 
progression item. Each item in the tree is designed to change the game in a meaningful way. For example, if you're having trouble collecting gold, then you can choose this upgrade, which makes gold drop in higher quantities. Or you can add one base health or one base stamina to your character if you need more survivability. Of course, you can have all of these upgrades at once if you have enough money. Let's take a moment to talk about player skill differences. Gunforged is not the easiest game in the world, nor is it the hardest. There will be a lot of players who want to play Gunforged but may not be good at it, and a lot of players that think the game is a cakewalk and want more challenge. I'm trying to build the game for both groups of players. The first arena, the dungeon, will be the easiest arena. I expect that good players will have no trouble beating it even on their first try. However, for players that have more difficulty with these kinds of games, the progression system will be your friend. Several upgrades in this tree are designed to make the game easier. Remember too that each arena after the dungeon will be harder. They will contain enemies with more health and more difficult attack patterns, as well as terrain that is not as easily navigable. And again, the upgrade system is designed to ease a lot of that challenge as you continue to fill out the upgrade tree. My goal is to make the game beatable by everyone, from the players that need few to no upgrades to the players that need every bit of help they can get. The changes and additions made to these major gameplay systems have opened up Gunforged in a way that makes brainstorming and implementing new content really fun and really rewarding. Here's a rapid fire breakdown of the most relevant new content that has been added to Gunforged since the last devlog. The Lowrider Spider is the boss that appears on the 20th wave of the dungeon. He drives erratically and launches bullets and spider meteors, and spawns deadly spider centaurs. The Rat King, the 10th wave boss for the dungeon, now has an additional attack where cheese falls from the sky. There's a new bomber enemy for the dungeon that throws bouncing bombs. There's a new bubble gun that shoots bubbles, and a cow gun that moves and shoots milk bottles. For new runes, which again is similar to the old affix system, there's critical chance, which gives your bullets a chance to deal double damage. Shock grenade throws shock grenades when you shoot. Totem grants a chance to spawn a damaging totem on hit. Magma balls have a chance to spawn from enemies that are hit while on fire. Minimalist makes you deal more bullet damage based on how many empty rune slots your gun has. And ricochet makes bullets, well, ricochet. For passives, there's secret service, which gives you bodyguards that tank bullets for you. Blazing trails, sets your dash on fire. Loot Goblin summons a friendly helper goblin that collects gold, runes, and health globe pickups for you. I Saw That spawns saw blades that shred enemies on dash. Grease Ball makes you secrete oil onto nearby enemies. Surgeon heals you by one if you take exactly one damage during a wave. Rubberized makes enemies that are affected by oil reflect bullets. Glass Cannon sets your max health to one, but gives you three additional stamina and a 50% increase to bullet damage. Slide into the DMs makes your dash last three times longer. Beefy gives you two additional max health, but reduces your movement speed by 20%. And Bloated makes enemies that die from poisons damage over time explode and deal damage to nearby enemies. With respect to the UI, the user interfaces in the game have been reworked with animations and a chunky metal feel. There's a new healing effect. There's a new run recap screen, which details your stats for the run and how much gold you extracted with. The gold you extract with can be used at the upgrade tree to enhance your abilities and stats, gun part unlocks can be tracked, rune unlocks can be tracked, and statistics can be tracked. Gunforged has always been a goofy game, as you can probably tell by such things as the cow gun and the blood golems that rock cool shades and handlebar mustaches. However, I don't think I've leaned as hard into the goofiness as I could have. There are a lot of elements of the game that lack any sort of humor or oddness to them, which is fine in some cases, but I really want to emphasize the goofy of this game because I think that can add a lot to the feel and the fun and also improve the hook. So for new content going forward, I'm going to always be looking for ways to inject humor. Whether it's adding things like a rubber duck gun or simply giving a passive a funny name, I'll be seizing on any opportunity to emphasize that this is supposed to be a ridiculous game. What funny and wild things would you like to see in Gunforged? Leave a comment below with your suggestions. The best suggestions may just make it into the final release. I'm confident that Gunforged will be releasing in early 2025, like really early in 2025. I know that I originally promised Gunforged for early 2024, but I really mean it this time. The final release of the game is very close. Wishlist the game so you're notified when it releases. In the meantime, give the demo a try so you can see how the game feels. See you in the next video. 
Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to support my work, you can purchase one of my courses, you can wishlist my upcoming game Gunforged on Steam, and you can sign up for my email list at firebelly.com. The links for all of those things are in the description below.